Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. Um, you may or may not know this, and there's loads of people out there know a damn sight more than me, so I've left a few links in the um, description down below of people who really can go into the audio of it. However, it doesn't matter how good you are at storytelling, how good you are at um, videography, cinemography, and all of that, no matter how much money you spent on different lenses, lighting, all that sort of kit and caboodle, if your audio is rubbish and sounds all crackly, then, to be honest with you, most people are going to switch off. So, what you need to do is invest a bit of money into the old audio side of things. And as I know, when I started up this, money is a um, bit of a constraint for a lot of us, isn't it? But to rely on the inbuilt microphone on the old camera is probably isn't the best option for you. Um, I've got the EOS R now, and the test I'm going to be using the EOS R for this, but obviously that's probably got better inbuilt cameras or microphones, sorry, not cameras, it is a camera, isn't it? Inbuilt microphones than um, some of the cheaper brands. So, another reason really why to spend a bit of money on a microphone. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to test various different environments. Um, we're going to test it with the onboard cam uh, microphone. We're going to test it with this road one here, which is the standard one, so there's no power on this one, okay? We're going to test it on the Rode Plus one, which is a powered one. That's a more professional one, and as it, obviously that is more expensive, um, and that's on here at the moment. And we're also going to test these ones, which are the new Wireless Go ones. To be honest with you, I think you might find these your favourites because they're half the price of the Pro one, and um, the sound I've got from them so far has been pretty good. So, without any further ado, oh, and by the way, if you're interested in the technical side of it, you're in the wrong video because we like to keep it simple. Um, on ours and so if you want all the technical side there'll be links down below and there'll also be links down there for where you can buy it from so let's get out in the motor and we'll see where we're going to go from there see you in a sec right then first test we're going to do is start up an engine and see on whether or not you can hear it and hopefully you can hear it now at the moment i've got the wireless go on but let's get the engine started up and i will just show you the setup we've got far up the old uh, m50 here hopefully you can see we've got the old road pro on there all right and then we've got the road wireless go there right so let's get it sorted So that's the engine going so you can get the sound of that. In a minute I'm going to unplug this and do it on manual and then we'll try it on the Rode uh, Pro Plus with the old hairy cat on it. So hopefully you can hear this, I won't know until we get back in the studio but this is a test with the Rode Wireless Go. That's the Rode Pro Plus plugged in and that's the test of that. So we had the engine noise at the beginning and now you've got the speaking over the top of it. So hopefully it's sounding alright as well, but we'll check that out when we get back to the studio. Next we're going to test it with nothing on whatsoever. This is a test with no external mic whatsoever. Um, hopefully you can hear the engine ticking over and hopefully you can tell the difference between this. But like I said, we'll check it out when we get back to the uh, studio. So next test we're going to do is driving around in a car, see what the difference that makes. See you in a bit. Okay, so that was the engine test. Um, in a minute, we're going to get out and do a drive test. But what I thought I'd do is, because a lot of people do um, vlogging and that from the car when they're stationary, I thought I'd do us a quick test now. So at the moment, I've got the Rode Pro Plus mic. That's the powered one plugged in. Okay, for you to be able to tell the difference on that one. Hopefully, it's all tickety-boo. Um, I won't be able to test this until I get back into the studio. So let's get on with testing the Rode Go wireless mic. And there's one good tip I'd like to offer you. I set up the old M50 here in a minute, okay, and what you will find, if we can get the settings right, yeah, I've got that set up there, okay, and I'm going to plug the um, wireless Go mic there, plug that one into the socket over there, but also, the great thing with it is you don't even have to have it clipped onto you, you don't have to have it up there. What I've done, as you can probably see hopefully, yeah, it's just up there, all right. I've got it set up there and hopefully that's going to work really really well so when you're driving you won't have to even look at the camera you can be talking this way and you know that you can get the clear direction of your voice into the microphone so let's have a look and see what that one's like see you in a sec 
Okay, so I've got it set up now with no microphone one whatsoever. So I don't even know if you can hear me or not um, because I don't know if I've got the settings right, but we'll find out when I get back in the studio, okay? So next test is gonna be with the Rode external mic with no power, that's just the standard Rode mic. Okay, so this is a standard Rode mic being tested. Hopefully it's all tickety-boo for you. And if you want any specs on this one, there'll be links down below. There'll also be some links down below on where you can buy these at a good price. Don't forget to use those. See you in a sec. Right, so now we have the powered Rode Plus or Rode Pro Plus mic. Yeah, again, all the links will be down below in the description if you're interested in the technical side of it. But that's the one we're testing at the moment. So this is hopefully this is Tiki Boo as well. And we shall get on now with the driving test after I've plugged back in the Wireless Go mic. See you in a sec. Right, we've now got the Wireless Go mic plugged in. It's up there, like I said to you before. Hopefully we can see what the sound's like from the side as well. But in a minute, I'm gonna start driving and obviously I'll be facing it. So we'll see what that's like. And let's get going. Seatbelt first, forgot about the old safety. Say hello to the neighbours as we go past them. Hiya. Anyway, um, let's just talk and ramble on, shall we? So hopefully this is sounding pretty tickety-boo and we're getting a good understanding of what it's like. Uh, get up on the main road in a sec and we will see whether or not it works as well as the Rode Pro Plus mic. Go up to a junction now, so bear with me. And... Yeah, let's go for it. So we're on the main road and the camera's falling over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do this every time because I have to pull over and swap the mics over. But bear with me and I'll uh, try and say similar stuff as we go along. So hope you're all tickety-boo and you can hear this. I'll be able to tell when I get back to the studio whether or not it's working well. Um, but that's probably enough for now um, just to get the gist of it and you can work it out from there. So I'll just pull over and I'll swipe them, swap the microphones over. All right, okay, I've got the Rode Plus um, mic on there, the Rode Pro Plus even. Like I said, all the details are down below. Let's get on and try that one and see what that sounds like, different to the Rode Wireless one, which is just on. So, um, hopefully you can hear this and it's all tickety-boo. Try and use the same sort of sentences as we go along. And like I said, when we get back to the studio, we'll be able to test this out. And also, you'll be able to rewind this as much as you like and make your own mind up. But to be honest here, I still think the convenience of the wireless go one is um, better because it saves you having to plug in that great big furry cat on the top also it's a little bit um more inconspicuous isn't it so if you're driving along like this with a great big eosr camera sat in the front without the uh old cat on the top i'm sure less people will actually realize that you're videoing anyway that's enough for now and i'll uh gonna get somewhere else so that we can test it out probably near the sea so i'll see you in a sec So I'm down by the beach and this is the test with no microphone one whatsoever. Um, the waves aren't that strong today, but hopefully it gives you a good idea of what it's like. Now let's get back and try some of the rest of them. We'll go on to the uh, Rode normal one first of all. See in a sec. So this is the Rode mic without any power on it, so that's just the standard one, that's a cheaper one. If you want all the tech stuff on it, like I said, it's all down below. Hopefully this is tickety boo and you can hear the difference in the sound of this and no mic whatsoever. Waves are there in the background, and we're down on the beach, as I said. So, the next one we're going to try is the um, Rode Mic Pro Plus, which is the power assisted one, the one with the big cat on it, and the one most vloggers use. And then we'll get onto the Wireless Go one and see the difference that makes. See you in a sec. Uh, this one is the Rode Mic Pro Plus, it's the power assisted one, uh, it's the one with the dead cat on it and I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear the difference between this and the standard road one. Anyway, hopefully it's tickety-boo and you can get the feeling of it yourselves. And next one we're gonna move on to is the Wireless Go Pro mic, whatever it's called. Is it the Go Road Pryless? Nah, something like that, anyway. Let's get onto that one. Right, so now we're on the Wireless Road Go one. Um, the mic's here on me, so um, it's nice and close to my face 
And the beauty of this one is if you had just this on, not like the contraption I've got on top of here, you know, you'd actually be less um, conspicuous than all the people around you, probably wouldn't be taking as much notice as some idiot walking up and down the beach, left, right and centre, with a big camera in front of him. Anyway, uh, we'll get back to the studio now and have a listen to him, and then you guys can rewind and do whatever you like with this to find out which one you think's the best. Oh, and by the way, there's a big powerboat going behind me now. So I don't know if you can hear that or if it's interfering. So if it is, that's a bit unfair test on the rest of them. Anyway, I'll see you all in a little bit. Cheers. Right, I thought I'd come up with common because there's pretty wind up here normally to give it a good test and see where it's going. At the moment, I've got the wireless uh, road go on. And, but as you can see, it's uh, flat as a pancake up here and a bit misty. So there ain't much wind around to give it a good test. So what I thought I'd do is give the drone a shot up in the air and see if that interferes with it. So let's have a look at that one. Now then, let's see, can you hear me talking now? It's a bit of a test. I'll bring it right over to me and see if it interferes. And I think that'll probably be the best test we can give it. So let's shoot off and see where the drone's going. So after that little crash, what we've got is the Rode Pro Plus. That's the powered one, the old uh, dead cat on the top of it. That's plugged in now. So hopefully you can tell the difference between the sound. And like I said, I'll have a look at it when I get back to the studio. So let's have a look what it's like with the drone going next to it. So can you hear me talking now? I'm not sure whether it's interfering or not. And what the sound quality is like. And we'll just zoom the drone off up to the last one. Hopefully not crash it this time. There we go. So wonder what the sound's like now. Anyway, you'll be able to work that out for yourself and um, make a good guess. See you in a bit. So this test was with the built-in microphone on the Canon. So it's the EOS R Canon camera that I'm using. So hopefully it's reasonably good quality. Um, but you should be able to tell the difference between it, especially when we get the drone up to imitate the wind. So let's get him up, see what it's like. You hear me talking now, hopefully it's uh, pretty tickety-boo, but I probably reckon, to be honest with you, it won't be. So we'll fly the drone off and see what happens as I'm talking, and off she goes. So, wonder what that was like. We'll find out when we're back in the studio. See you in a bit. Right, the last one to give a go is the Rode mic that's just a standard external one with no battery power on it at all. Um, we'll give that one a go and hopefully you can tell the difference between those as well. So hopefully it's pretty tickety boo for you. Let's get the drone up and see how much that interferes with it. So, I don't know if you can hear me or not. It's as close as the drone will let me get with the sensors. Um, I don't think I can get any further forward anyway. So hopefully it sounds reasonably good. It should be able to tell the difference between this and especially the wireless go mic. So it actually goes. And I'll keep talking for a little bit longer until it gets away from me. See you back in the studio, everyone. Okay, so what you can do with this video is you can rewind it, you can play it backwards and forwards so you can make your own mind up. Um, I have a personal preference on it, but that isn't to say it's the perfect thing for you because it depends on what your type of stuff you're doing. But for me personally, I like this one, the Wireless Go one, because the versatility of it, you know, you can put it up on the um, sun bars there if you're driving around, you can clip it onto your side here, you can have it down here in front of you on the old damn um, camera. It's just so easy to use. And also, it's inconspicuous, isn't it? With that little box on top of the camera and the little box just clipped on here, it's probably likely that people won't know that you're vlogging. Well, if you've got that big cat on the top, they probably are going to, aren't they? Um, so that's another reason for it. And also, it takes up less space in your bag, because um, if you're out traveling and things like that, it's going to be a lot easier for you. But this is a, the decision is even yours. Okay, so rewind it, do what you want with this video. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like it. If you like these type of videos as well, which is keep it simply simple, yeah, then um, give us a comment down below, tell us what else you'd like to review on, and I'll try and do my best. If it's the technical side though, as I said earlier on, go and find another channel, because I ain't gonna go into all of that. To be honest with you, it's boring, and it's all on the back of the boxes anyway, and on plenty of websites, and like I said, I'll always, always link all the technical side down below. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this one, share it amongst your friends if you like, and I'll see you around. Cheers and gone. Thank you.